Sentry with specific timing into a standing shield is like his only way out of that situation based on their positioning. It was just so heads up. Yeah, well, Mystery's gonna do some VOD review and gonna have a heck of a loser's run, maybe all the way to Grand Finals, but right now, Kirby509 versus Jen. Jen just taking out John Numbers from Winner's Side. He's feeling pretty confident here, but so, so does Kirby. Yeah, and you know, while well, last game, right, and Gen Blast said as well, right, a clash of the old age Xeno Titans. This is a clash of generations, right? Gen coming coming back, definitely less active these days, but there's nobody more iconic to Xeno really than him, right? So on that Dill numbers helper tier that has been around for a decade. Kirby 509, on the other hand, Sean has been making waves in the New York scene in the last six months or so since moving here for grad school. This Olimar has been unstoppable, Swiss. I mean, if you look at him play, you're like, yeah, I can see why Columbia accepted him. This man's a monster. Bro, the, the IQ is actually off the studies. charts. I mean, he's got the glasses, the boots. Yeah, and the double blue purple lineup to rack on that knockback now, finding ways to force Palu off of him, right? Don't die, Ritual. Don't die. Anyway, Jen not dying just yet, but finally a 176. Kirby 509, a very light character, 90. This is kill percent. Listen, Twist, sometimes you choke on your own airway, you know? Sometimes and you I'm... just get too excited. <laughs> Absolutely, but... I know, can't handle all Kirby, the smash. <laughs> Kirby has been doing a really good job of figuring out when to bait Jen in in general, and then finding ways to get him off of him. Olimar is often a character that once you get in on them, can struggle to keep you out, but Kirby's Pikmin management has always allowed him to have a purple, even if it's the only one he possesses, at the second gen gets into CQC range. And that means suddenly, that additional knockback means that Kirby can reset, get off you, get use a get off me option, and find way more opportunities to play neutral here. It's why he's up a stock in this situation, but trying to hold oh, on and no. not gonna find his way over that one. Yeah, the laser just clipping him by the feet. For Kirby 509, 84% for, you know, extra credit? Not bad. You just can't get caught in these nair loops. No, and the oh, Pikmin there to call, find the hit lag on the back air. So Kirby was able to find the get off me hit, right? Get back to stage. Super heads up play from him. And really one of the best all of our players in the business at utilizing those hit lag at punish moments by throwing the, oh, the Pikmin out, right? Which have their own hurt box. You know, I used to only think of Olimar as the buzz. Because that's all, really all I knew who played the uh, Pikmin. Pikmin. The Pikmin. But now, it's having Kirby 509 here in the region and watching him play every single week and getting better and better and better, I now associate Olimar with only Kirby. Yeah, man. And I mean, there's Candle in the Midwest. Midwest 2, Myron, who's less active but still fantastic. Uh, Does up, the Midwest upstate, matter? Yeah, there's... Uh, yes, they do. Infinitely <laughs> so. Shout out to Lumi Rank. Um, there's also right, uh, Infinity up north in upstate New York as well, who's very talented. You know, some great Olimar players around, even if you don't see this character as much as you used to. Fantastic Latchler with the yellow electric property, extra hit stun, allows him to find that forward air and keep the situation going, Swiss. But now we're just back at the ledge. Jen, ooh, catching Kirby 509, just eating him to the blast zone. 170. Jen, just hanging on for dear life. Trying to rack up this extra credits. His survivability is what has kept him alive in this bracket so far. John had trouble killing him, so Kirby 509 has a bit of a road to walk. I was gonna say, these are both players who historically just live for really long periods of time, right? Both known for their patience, their defense, but with Kirby, right, the, where he's found the difference, and what we're seeing on screen right now is, sometimes he plays, in his own words, too safe. Right? Kirby is the one looking to swing for the hit, try to find a landing back air there. Jen using his own, which is invulnerable, remember, to find his way through it and continue and find the punish anyways. But there's that up smash. Instead, rolling shields, right? Kirby is just not willing to take the risk to find the stock, and it's leading to a Palutena, a light character living well past 200% here. Jesus. It's like Kirby 509 is playing in Bayonetta. Just kill him already. All right, there we go. You know what? That's the as reverse a caster curse as it can possibly get, Swiss, but the job's not done yet for either player. Jen looking to hold on to this lead. He has worked so hard to reel back. Kirby looking to find a way to take this stock potentially faster than the last. To do so, though, needs to find a way to win neutral, and in doing so, needs to get the lineup out blue. Great to die there, because it only really extends your grab, right? At this percent, you'd much rather something that does more damage, more knockback, or just has better modifiers, like that red, like these purples, to just rack on that percent. Look, look, we have no judges, we have no scoring here. It doesn't matter how hard you try, it's who finishes the game. I, I like the jab one there, but Kirby just gonna get punished for it. Still not out of room to work with yet, though. Although it is a three purple pick. Yeah, my, hey, my friend, 
you know that the damage, the knockback, the get-off means are going to be great, but at these low percents, you're not going to find survive. the combos off those purples, oh. right? You, it's going to force more neutral interactions. And uh, here, I was, was just a say, little too far away mm -hmm. for that get-up attack. Yeah, and, and he got put in a bad situation. Three purples sounds great, but with that knockback, it's just going to force more neutral interactions. And when the percent gap is that high, you need to be converting to guaranteed advantage states to close it, because if you just give more neutral interactions to win, as good as Olimar is in that situation, and every neutral interaction favors Jen because he wins one and he wins the game, whereas Kirby has to win seven or eight in a row with those purples to get to the percent where suddenly triple purple becomes the terrifying lineup that we think of it as. Well, we are going to game number two. Let's see how Kirby 509 can engineer his way out of this. Well, Swiss, he's gonna, I mean, he's gonna come blasting down to Earth. Earth in the rocket, I'm sure he built himself. Elf and find a way out of those uppers, utilizing the Pikmin, saying, get down, Mr. President, indeed, as he finds a way to rack on the damage, but barely missing the down tilt combo starter, so going to give Jen one more chance to win this neutral. These are very unwilling bodyguards. You know, usually bodyguards kind of throw themselves in danger. Olimar is just throwing the bodyguards at danger. Yeah, Olimar is the... I wonder if I can stop a bus by pushing someone at it in front of it. Ah, uh, yes, the bus problem. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah, well, you know what else might be a problem, Swiss? Uh... Those down smashes, because Jen charging it to utilize the wind box, bait out Kirby, cause him to panic, and closing a very early stock, now racking up the damage, and I think that might have been the mental damage Jen was looking for, right? Because he knows Kirby is this player who gets in his own head sometimes. So fighting an early up smash like that, or smash attack like that, might just cause Sean to start doubting himself. Yeah, Kirby 5 and I were just like, oh, I see you charging that smash attack. Yeah, I can punish that. But that being said, the cover off that edge cancel there, no! To find his way back, a second smash attack, but somehow holding on. The captain's out of soldiers, he's out of a crew Swiss, and he might just be out of a stock, somehow holding on now, but that's getting staled, and no, gonna find his way back to ledge. That's alright, he's still alive as long as he's alive. We can always get more bodyguards, there's plenty in the budgets. Hey man, you just grow him yourself, right? That's right. Well, maybe said, this is... Oh, okay. Only the red, that's not ideal, but it is just enough of a disjoint to give Kirby the space he needs to work with. Sean now playing that roll away game, playing patient, but when he gets stage control, when he gets out from under the center platform, now that positioning is comfortable for him, you see a whole different player starting to come back, right? This percent gap closing slowly. He has managed to hold on here in a percent where anyone else would be dead for a very long time. He cannot be happy with the way this stock is going. I thought that was beautiful. The way he actually managed to get out from that grab range was just down tilt away. I mean, the grab obviously dying at like 185, but Kirby 509 using these shifty hurtboxes is his advantage. And to take nearly 100% unanswered after losing your first stock at 50, right, rack up 100% there anyways, you gotta be happy with that one if you're Sean, if you're Sean here, right? Now the whistle armor to get back down, and I like the positioning there, right? Forcing Jen to play on edge of platform just takes away these aerials from Palutena entirely and is forcing Jen to back off, use these explosive flames more, and now traps him on these landing. Kirby, though, getting baited by the down tilt to pressure the roll out, and now that's just gonna be all she wrote off the fair. No! no. Kirby gonna get one more chance. Spoke too soon. Okay, managed to find their way back. Okay, not again. Curry 5 and I having PTSD after that first stock. Yeah, man, fool me once, shame on, on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Kirby 509, this man's in an, an Ivy League engineering school. He is not one to be taken for a fool. Not going to be caught lightly and going to catch it down to the last stock. But sh Swiss, this is the same situation as game number one. Can he find a way back into this set? What happens if you fool me three times? Uh, well, you just look like an even bigger fool, I guess. Oh man. Oh my god, the but drag down? He tried, but that up special coming in the perfect Whoa! time, and the weird clank interaction between the disjoint I hate that and the there. Olimar meant to, Pikmin just meant that, well, it looked like one of them should have been put in hit lag, yeah. but neither of them was because I think it was a disjoint swing and not so of the Pikmin, so the actual hurt box. Yeah, so that's a clank because they're both disjoints at that point. So the hurt box on Olimar isn't active. If that was a toss, or on the Pikmin isn't active. If that was a toss here, there, Swiss, what you would have seen is hit lag happen, and then Kirby would have been able to maybe finagle away through or get a punish. That was just so That evil. was so good. Jen just read his soul there. You know what Kirby 519 needs? He needs bigger bodyguards. Go back to the bodyguard store. Hey, man, more. I mean, I'm available. Oh, all I'm right. Like I mean, you're tall. tall. 
Yeah, I'm like six feet tall. You're six feet tall. You're taller than me. I'm five eleven. Is actually the secret. I'm, I'm, I'm five I'm, eleven I'm, three quarters. I say I'm six feet tall when it's convenient. I say I'm five ten when it's convenient. Listen, Don't worry about listen, it. Listen.